brought to you by GTA. We start with you. The court stating to Blas, quote, if I were to release you, you better not screw up. I rarely release people. This is an important case to the United States government, to the community, and to yourself, unquote. Earlier this year, former Zonia Mayor Jesse Blas pled guilty to extortion charges for allowing drug trafficking through Zonia mailboxes. Sentencing has been pushed to August. Defense counsel Joseph Rosano argues the Haganya detention facility is unsuitable and unsanitary to conduct attorney-client discussions. Additionally, there are concerns of improper medical treatment. The government strongly opposes Bloss's release. This afternoon, the court heard arguments from both parties, when on a virtual live tour of the lockup, questioned the potential third-party custodians, being his 24-year-old son, Bo Bloss, and his girlfriend of 15 months, Stacy Coletta, who reside in Bloss's residence. The court also heard testimony from federal marshals, Department of Correction officers, Bloss's doctors, and Bloss himself. During the teleconference hearing, Bloss spoke out despite his attorney's attempt to cut him off. Bloss stating, quote, Your Honor, I would not even attempt to contact anyone, whether they are named or not named. I never had any interest to contact them. I have pled my wrongs. I have accepted my responsibility. I always thought as a mayor my duty was to help and that is all I have done, unquote. The court plans to issue a written decision by tomorrow morning. We should add the Zonia Mayor special election to fill Bloss's vacancy is set for this weekend. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Adriana Cotero. Brought to you by GTA. We start with you.